Now, obviously, we always wrap up with a verse to appreciate um, a verse. So, do you remember I, I spoke to you? about we've got sometimes a word has more than one plural a broken plural so we've got for example the word shahron shahron has two plurals it's got ashhor and shahor we've got nafs it's got anfus and it's got nufus. Do you see? This plural, which is on the pattern af'ul, do you see that? And that's on af'ul as well. This is what we call the plural of. of not a lot, basically. It's called jam'ul qilla in Arabic, which means the plural of. We've got jam'ul kathra, which means the plural of multiplicity which usually means from 11 upwards and this form means from 3 to 10 okay so Allah says in the Quran that the months according to Allah are how many months do we have in the Islamic calendar? 12, so he says عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ are they 12 months because shuhur indicates what? 11 plus, so he uses that plural but when he talks about the sacred months, how many are the sacred months? For the Qa'da, the Hijjah, Muharram, and the Rajab, he says Shuhur. Sorry, he says Ashhur because there's a, it's between three and ten. Same thing with Anfus means a few Nufus, a few souls, and the Fus means a lot of souls. Are you with me? So, yeah, Jam'ul Qilla and Jam'ul Kathra, we call it. Jam'ul Qilla. And jam'a, the plural of kathra, of multiplicity, a lot. Now, let's do the verse then. Allah says that Sidna Ibrahim is shakiran li an umihi. What's shakir mean? Grateful. So he was grateful or thankful. Li, what's Li mean? For an'umihi. For the few, his, for his few blessings. Notice it's on the same pattern as af'ul. Do you see that? So we know the three letters. Noon, ain, mim. The singular is ni'ma. The plural is an'um. Yeah? So it means that he was grateful for even the few blessings he had. So Ibrahim's life, he was a very simple man, and, but he didn't have a lot, but he was grateful for it. Okay, he was even grateful for the little he had. Does that make sense? Then Allah says, in another verse, وَأَسْبَغَ عَلَيْكُمْ Ni'amahu Vahiratan Wa Baatinah So let's do this Wa And Asbaha, this is a new verb This Asbaha means it, We talk about Isbaghul Wudu Doing Wudu and making sure we get Wash all the limbs Asbaha means to shower upon Okay, so, and he showered on you lot, all of you, upon you, his blessings. This is another plural, ni'am. So, he showered upon you, his multiple blessings. So, it's not jam'ul qilla here, it's jam'ul kathra. The jam'ul kathra can have many forms. But if you see this form, Af'ul, you always know it's Qilla. If there's any other one, it denotes that there's lot. So because he's talking about pouring upon you, it means all his blessings. Notice Alaykum's being brought forward. It, you'd assume it would be, Wa asbagha ni'amahu alaykum. 
He's brought that forward specifically for you, old children of old uh, children of Adam, old human beings. He's poured over you. Allah means to come upon you. Okay, all his multiple blessings, vahiratan, that, that are apparent and that are not apparent. There's so many. Some you could, you're, you're aware of, and some you are not. Okay, so it's a difference to this one. Do you see? Allah is a different plural to denote. Last bit. Wa in. Allah says, Wa in. Ta'uddu. Ni'matal. Lahi. La. Tuhsuha. Now there's a few words you don't know here. Wa and in if. No, now it's not inna, it's in. So that means if. And if you now this we haven't done. If you count Adda Ain Dal Dal Ain Dal Dal means to count out. Like Scrooge. He's got his little coins and he's counting out. Okay? Wa in ta'uddu now notice the blessing of Allah, it's singular. But how would you usually think you translate that? The blessings. Why is Allah used a singular? Because if you're counting out something, is it one or more? More. more. Why is it used a singular then? Yeah, good, I like that. That even you couldn't even count one of his because even within one you'll find that there's actually numerous even within one. That's, that's one way of looking at it. Or you could look at it as genus. You know, gender. Because if we talk about, I like cows. I don't know why I always use cows as an example, but I love cows. You're next to seeing me in a field hugging a cow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love cows. When we're speaking about gender, we, don't, uh, we, don't, we use plural, don't we, in English? But ha now, when I say I love cows, how many cows do I love? Well, all innumerable, okay? And so you can't count that. The genus, you can't count genus, because how many are there, the genus? You're not even bothered about number. So he's put the ge if we look at it from that aspect, he's put the genus in to say it's not even countable. So that says it's not even countable in the genus. Or we can look at, even in one, you can't even count because there's so many even within blonde blessing when you and this is a proof about you know material scientists they try to they say one day we're going to get the secret of life if we just keep breaking things down but the problem is you keep breaking things down and guess what happens you find more and more and more and more so it's this is a, a proof that you you keep going you're never going to get to the bottom of it but this verse is saying that basically deep down so you keep trying to find the source that the answer you're not going to find it in looking in the minutia so if you count the blessings of Allah, you will not be able to. Now, ihsa, ahsa is a verb. It has the same meaning as adda. Hasa means a pebble. But the thing about ihsa means it means to count something in all its particulars. So, for example, in this classroom, I count you. I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's ad. But ahsa means I don't just know you, the number of you, my students. I know their ages. I know where they come from. I know their particulars. Does that make sense? So, if you, if you, even if you're trying to count them, you'll never be able to encapsulate everything about them. Okay. That's what that's saying. And there's a, there's a verse, in, uh, there's a hadith where it says, uh, whoever memorizes the, the 99 names of Allah, they will enter paradise. There's two versions. There's one that says, hafidah, to memorize. And there's another one that says, men ahsaha, meaning whoever knows Allah's names in their particulars. So what that means is, whoever meditates on his names and like, ponders upon like, his quality of being merciful. Like he's pondering on it, all the particulars of mercy in their life, then here enter paradise. I, so it's not just memorizing, it's meditating on them, whereby you, and obviously if someone's constantly meditating on Allah's names, he's going to be protected, he's going to be blessed by Allah, and so of course he went to paradise. So these are the three ways we can express plurals. Like this, this one, many, 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 even few, this one innumerable, you can't even, you're talking about genus, 
or you're, to, or you're saying that even in one there's many. Okay, so that's what we, we can appreciate from the plurals there. Okay. So